No. I just saw this thing yesterday where I want to say it was the CEO of Nike just came out and said, we're starting to notice that people not being in the office is a problem. It's, <laughs> it's slowing down that's a, that's creativity, a, productivity. No. Are you f shitting me? <laughs> really? Yeah. Let me tell you I, what happens when you don't have people in the office for two years or longer. I was screaming about this in our meeting today that I think, where is the book that somebody needs to write about the just the cumulative collateral damage from our reaction to the pandemic. Not the pandemic, the reaction to it and the overreaction, because we just found out like the murder rates plummeted like in the last six months. It was all pandemic related. It's not whether Trump is president or Biden is president. The murder rates went up, car crash rates went up. To say nothing of the kids who didn't learn anything for two years and all this stuff, the health issues that arose because people didn't get tested. I can go on and on. Someone needs to do a real smart tally of all the collateral damage from how we overreacted and see, and then, then let's add it up. I could not agree with you. And more. see if it, you know, let's have some data. Let's, 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 let's have this battle on a data level. Depression. Depression, uh, yes, uh, suicide, like 100%. so many things. And, uh, and kids who are, I mean, how do you assess the psychological damage of kids who are germ paranoids yep. from the age of two? People who are laid off, people who lost their businesses that they spent 20, 30, 40, 50 years building. The list just goes on and on and on. But just so I know for sure, you believe the I mean, you don't believe that it's a hoax. Like, I mean, you believe COVID was a real thing, of course. Yeah, people right. died from COVID, 100%. Yeah, of course, right. But people died from the flu, too, and people die from lots of things every yeah, day. It was worse than the flu. I mean, there was the flu did not kill quite like that, and it was not the same thing, and our bodies were less used to it. But, you know, it, well, I don't know. My philosophy was if it's, if it's as bad as they say it is, we're all fucked anyway, all right? And let me tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to die hiding in my fucking house. That's for damn sure. But back in the day when you were getting all that shit pumped into you, yeah. whatever it was, yeah. and I'd be, so, you, you should call up your doctors and find out what you were taking. He passed out. away. Oh. Yeah. He passed away. <laughs> That's a bad My sign. That, well, he, that, he, always, he was, yeah. was an older guy. He was an old school guy. He was an old school doctor. And, uh, you know, no, I, I listen, I, I was at a place, and you know this, everybody knows this, I was watching this. When you're young, you fucking, you never even think about this shit. You know what I mean? You change so much from 30 to 50. Like you I said, said you, don't you so wish much you could more. go back and talk to that idiot. And, well, you know, I, I just mean, health. I, I, hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.